first of all, when I came here, I didn't expect such a diverse crowd. And it's always a challenge when you're trying to like make sure everybody has a takeaway. So I'm going to try to, one, leave you with a takeaway for every single person, leave you with a takeaway if you're in an enterprise, and that's primarily the people we work with. And if you're a founder, like one of us, um, leave you with a takeaway as well. So I'll start first by just talking about what everybody should be excited about. So there's a lot of different capabilities that this technology has. There are two that we're very excited about. The first is its ability to interact with you in your language. And this was covered earlier as part of the earlier conversations as well. But we have progressively moved from talking to the computer in the computer's language to now talking to the computer in our language. And I think that's a pretty big capability shift. The second, and I think this is a really, really big deal, and I don't think uh, technologists take enough credit for this, it's the ability to follow instructions. Um, so now I can talk to the model and I can give it instructions. And that's what fundamentally allows it to actually do things in a very helpful way for you. This is what Chad G makes ChatGPT so helpful for you as an assistant. And so if you're a person here, I want you to have one takeaway, which is I think over the next two, three decades, the ability to think with clarity and give clear instructions, much the same way you would give instructions to a new employee at your company, is going to become an increasingly more relevant skill. The second thing I want to talk to folks about is, especially if you're an enterprise. So if you care about SOC 2, you care about role-based access control, you're my people, um, I'll leave you with the takeaway. I think this has three implications on enterprises. Number one is your ability to create insights. So all of a sudden, we have increased the number of personas at an enterprise that can communicate with an AI model. You can ask questions, and you can get answers. Historically, these were the data scientists or the machine learning engineers, and you had to always go through them. That is still a very important role, but now we have democratized in many ways the ability to get values. It's an Iron Man suit for everyone. That's number one. Number two is faster time to value. Historically, if I wanted to deploy an AI application, I had to build a model from scratch. It's pretty expensive. It takes months. Now you have to do iterations after the fact. I can now start with something like GPT-4, which out of the box gives me the ability to get a working prototype in days, not months. That's incredible fast time to value. Number three, total cost of ownership. I can now maintain just one model, a GPT-4 model, for example, and instead have 200 different prompt templates for 200 different tasks. That's a game changer. I historically needed 200 different applications and models for 200 different tasks. It is significantly easier and cheaper to maintain 200 different prompt templates than 200 different models. I think this is going to be a game changer for enterprises. The ones that adopt it, I think, are going to get a competitive advantage. And the significant challenge right now, if you're an enterprise, is the last mile engineering. How do you customize it to your data, your workflows, and your knowledge workers, especially when the general purpose model hasn't necessarily seen your workflows before or seen your data before? And the last thing I just want to leave you with, if you're a fellow founder, is address the question about where will we be in six months? What is the pace of evolution? I'm sure you have some visualization of how fast the world is changing. It's changing faster. But I think it's important to understand how it's changing. When we think about the biggest use cases of AI for everybody, not just for the Silicon Valley people, but for everybody, it's applications like ChatGPT. But the model for ChatGPT has always been around. It's fundamentally new UXs and new use cases of this technology that have been game changers. So the one thing I would really encourage you to think about is how can you use the existing capabilities but uncover new applications, new UXs that can create a lot of value. The perfect GPT-4 application is yet to be discovered, and I'm really excited to discover it with you. Fantastic.